have the victim. Gaping holes everywhere. We have the culprit. The hot water cylinder in the middle of the family room. And the rescue party. From junkyard to outdoor art gallery, the killer villa you've always dreamed of on Mike Akin DIY Rescue. Next, TV2. Nelson, home to beautiful beaches and the highest sunshine hours in the country. Down the road at Simon and Melissa's lies a rambling villa in progress. For two long years, Simon has attached this homage to yesteryear with hammer, chainsaw and his own brand of what can only be called destruction design. Hi, my name's Melissa. This is my DIY disaster. Come and I'll show you around. This is my master bedroom. As you can see, it's got jib on the floor. It used to have beautiful wooden floors, but Simon ripped them up to put them in the kitchen. He put this window in here, oh, two years ago, and I've spent two winters facing a third, and it's really drafty, and it hasn't been finished. But I should have known all this was coming, because behind me is this lovely set of drawers that Simon made eight years ago, and I'm still waiting for my side cabinets, but they're not finished. OK, this is my family room. Over here we've got the whole bit of French doors, but of course we can't get French doors to fit. Now the botch up that he's made is I wanted this nice hallway to go down and Simon's gone and put the hot water cylinder at the end, so there goes my nice long hallway. I don't know what he's going to do about that. And if you think that's an eyesore, check out the bathroom. Exposed pink bats, a myriad of exposed wires and a wonky bath that looks like it's about to fall through the floor. And this is my wonderful outdoor entertaining area. As you can see, it's been trashed a little bit by Simon. Before we had children, I used to get out in the garden and I used to do all the, the gardening, but now it's, yeah, it's just a right mess. And here is my wonderful husband, Simon. Hi, Simon. Hi there. This is actually a rare moment when he's playing with my children because he's normally so busy working on the house. As you can see, DIY Rescue, Simon's bitten off more than he can chew. I need help, he needs help. We need to spend some time as a family. I'd love to have a bath so I can relax at night. My kids need a family room that's not drafty. And of course, I'd like to have my own bedroom back because Oscar keeps waking me up. So please, it's, it's been my wish for that black truck to come rolling up, so please make my wish come true. They're the bane of the DIY rescue team's life and try the patience of many long-suffering wives around the country. Take this week's DIY dad, for example. The hole he's cut out for the French doors is far too big. He's put the hot water cylinder in the middle of the family room and he's taken bits of flooring from around the house, leaving gaping holes everywhere. All part of his master plan, of course. His wife, however, thinks his master plan has gone on for far too long and her hubby is out of his depth. So it's time to call in Might Attend DIY Rescue. <coughs> Rolling into the sleepy town of Mahana, our monster truck is about to shake things up, including the wildlife. And a hammer-happy husband whose ability to turn ornate into degenerate has left us slightly speechless. Still, no match for a truckload of power tools and DIY experience, including outdoor extraordinaire Sarah Jessup and DIY master Darren White. Hello, you two. Hi. Hello. I squeeze in like this. <laughs> there we are. How are you? Very good. Now tell me, are you a hammer happy husband? Um, I think I might have become a bit hammer unhappy. Oh, he has. <laughs> Very. Are you teaching him to become a bit of a Kiwi bloke? I'm trying to. <laughs> <laughs> Too many beers. First sign. <laughs> <laughs> right now, well, you might uh, get rid of some of that over the next four days because we're going to work so. really hard. Okay. So we'll put you inside with Darren then, eh? Yep. Family room, those French doors, <coughs> the bathroom, and the master bedroom. Sounds yes, good. Yes, good. And um, you can enjoy some time with Sarah in the garden. Wonderful. All right, lots of hard work, then we'll get to it, shall we? We will. Okay. That way. Oh. And as I issue my marching orders, the DIY team gets stuck into clearing out what's supposed to be the family room. Not exactly inviting living with a water cylinder feature and a gigantic hole Simon bashed out in the front wall. Just what measurement he was going by is anyone's guess. He's struggling there, mate, He's struggling. Because I'm struggling to work out what you're doing here. Now, you're putting those three stores in because they look pretty small to me. Or are you going to keep that corrugator on? Because it's apparently in at the moment. 
uh, yeah, we're, we're, we're creative people around here, and um, well, we, we uh, cut the hole first and then tried to find the doors to suit. <laughs> yeah, I was wondering how you do that. Yeah, yeah, just below some more of that style of jibbing of yours. <laughs> and then once you finish, you'll be having a drink out of your distillery. Is that whiskey you're brewing over there or beer? Uh, whiskey. I might need a stiff drink after this lot. <laughs> Right, well, there's going to be no time for drinking over the next four days, Darren. This room needs to be completely rejibbed and painted. Two sets of doors fitted and recycled carpet relayed. Phew. Meanwhile, in the bathroom, it's time for Simon to clean up his act. Now, if this bathroom ends up looking anything like it does on paper, it's going to be magnificent. It will. <laughs> Talk me through it. OK, we've got... Uh, we're going to carry on the timber floors mm -hmm. once I've stolen it from... Another part of the house, again. Mm -hmm. um, we're going to have um, a waist-high panel of Rimu Tongue and Groove going around the outside. Mm -hmm. um, Claw-footed bath. That's your original bath you've had dipped? Yes. Good. Yep. Shower here? Sprayed. Yep. Shower with some... Well, you'll like this, because I'm going to carry on the corrugated iron theme, so... Not that corrugated iron? Uh, maybe not, no. It's going to be actually baby iron, you know what oh. baby iron is. Yes, and yes. That, that will line the three sides of the shower. Lovely. Um, the bath there. Yep. Toilet here? Yep, toilet with a hundred-year-old um, cast iron cistern. Wow. Oh, that's mm -hmm. different. We've not put one of those in before. Uh, no, it weighs a tonne, so it'll probably bring the, bring the wall down. <laughs> Don't say <laughs> Might that. Might need some reinforcement <laughs> in there. In the master bedroom, we're removing two years' worth of junk to make way for a sleepy haven. We're rehanging the drafty sash windows, patching up the floor, not to mention new paint and curtains. Melissa, this is the plan that we've put together for your garden. Oh, wonderful. OK, what we're going to do is, because you're so clever and so creative with your pottery, we're going to create an outdoor art gallery for you. Oh, excellent. OK, Wonderful. somewhere for you to display all your lovely bits and pieces yep. so that when people come and have a look and want to buy stuff, it's all displayed in a manner that they can see. Yes. Oh, awesome, instead of being in the weeds in the garden. Yeah, well, hidden and, yeah. and everything's overgrown and it's a complete waste. Yeah. Melissa's art is going to get a proper showcase in our gallery garden. We're also going to build a stone wall, fix up the deck with new timber and roof and paint the exterior. So we need uh, two doors for the cupboards in here, by the hot water cupboard, right? We do, we've got 10 to choose from. 10? 10. What do you collect doors or something? We've been collecting them for the last 10 years. 10, you've been 10 years, 10 doors, yeah. 10 a, headaches. A, a door a year. Yeah, a door a year. <laughs> Where can you collect so much stuff? Well, we knew we'd do up a, um, an old villa. Bomb site. An old bomb site, yeah. yeah. And um, so, yeah, we've just been collecting this stuff <laughs> for years, and, um, but Melissa's the whore. Oh, yeah, mate. that's yeah, blame it on her, yeah. I will, actually. Of course, of course yeah. she does. Yeah. I have to confess, I'm the hoarder in this family. Yes, it's me. When you see her reaction when she finds something and jumps up and down and 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 screams and shouts, then then I think that's getting quite a serious addiction, don't you? Well, the things that I hoard are bath feet, claw bath feet. Oh, we must have about 20 claw feet for baths. Anything called Nate that I find, like I've got this beautiful wooden um, plaster plaster moulds but uh, i mean to be fair we are using it on some of the house so and and we've had a vision for um an ornate villa and this this was the closest we were going to get to a, to a villa and we're really having to add the, the ornateness back into it um so she can be forgiven for collecting all that stuff Yes, but there's enough here to renovate 20 houses and you haven't even completed one yet. At least our DIY dad made a start on jibbing the master bedroom, right? Now, this is Phil, our jib stopper, and I'm very, very pleased to see you because sometimes I never even get to meet the jib stopper because he's here all night. Well, so it's good to have you here, and of course another. Nice to meet you as well. Oh, good, I'm glad. And another reason why I'm really happy is because the jib was already up in here. Simon yeah. had done good, hadn't he? Yeah, well, not, not bad. There's room for improvement. Um, oh, what should he have done then? Well, normally you're trying to avoid joints either side of your windows, top and bottom, and uh, try to lay your sheets over horizontal, cutting over the top of the heads of the windows and um, eliminating a lot of those joints that are prone to cracking top and bottom. Oh. So you end up just short joints either side. Another tip for the DIY keen at heart is that if you use all the jib scraps like Simon has, it'll probably just end up costing you more time and money in plastering. We've had a whole lot of rocks delivered this morning, in fact, seven tonne of them to be exact, to build our rock walls in the garden. 
but some of them are far too large, even for myself and these string, big strong boys to manhandle, so we're having to get rid of some of them. And because we couldn't lift them ourselves, one of the very kindly neighbours has come along with his digger, and he's helping us put them back on the truck. Gotta love that can-do South Island attitude. Speaking of which, Darren's forging ahead with a shower. He's laying the base on top of a level surface, making sure it's well supported. Outside, Simon's mates are stripping back one of his many doors. At least this will be a better sight than Darren stripping anyway. Luckily, half of Nelson has turned up to de-weed the garden. And in the garage, Melissa's teaching me some artistic tricks of the trade. OK, so this paper clay in here is actually a bit thick than what I'd normally have it, but because I want this to dry faster, right. it's just a matter of the plaster absorbing the, the water. Ordinarily, it would be a bit sloppier so that I could, could pour it. And then I just smooth it out into the mould. Then I do that all over the mould, and then I'll come back later and put some more on because it sinks, mm. sinks down into the mould. How thick a layer do you need? Quite thick because it's got to go into the corrugation. Mm. Um, so at least, you know, the depth of the corrugation. Mm. Yeah. So it's just like making mud pies, really. <laughs> and speaking of mud... I'm just mixing up the first of many, many, many barrows of concrete that we're going to use to concrete in these posts in the garden. The first two posts are going to be used for a picture frame which we're going to attach to the outside of them that we can use to display some of Melissa's art. And these ones over here are going to have a big piece of corrugated iron stapled to them. And we're going to attach lots of little interesting bits and pieces, some corrugated iron and other interesting artefacts that we find around the property to create our own piece of art. Because these posts are so big we've had to brace them with pieces of wood while we wait for the concrete to set otherwise there's no way that they'd stay in place end of day one and already the family room is gypped and stopped i think darren is very lucky and talk of the devil how are you guys all right yeah look cool look cool. Yeah, a fossil fossilized lizard oh wow well. it's probably been here as long as um, simon has been doing the house positively prehistoric then <laughs> Years old. <laughs> <laughs> now look, when you stop counting around, how much more to do out here this evening? Well, we've just got the framing, the rest of the framing to do for the doors to go in here. And we've got the rest of the jib board to put up. Now we've got the stopping to do in here. And the boys have got the stopping in the bathroom to do. Mm -hmm. yeah. And Sarah's just got to give your grass a jolly good drink because it's a bit sad. Okay. <laughs> so it's looking good then, isn't it? Yeah. You might get an early night tonight. Yeah, that'd be good, wouldn't it? Yeah. Good for once. Well, it's day two at Simon and Melissa's Mahana home, and wouldn't you know, even though we got the jib up and stopped quite early yesterday, the plaster still hasn't dried, probably down to the humidity, I would think. Now, a busy day inside today. We've got scotias, skirting, architrave, all to go up, holes in the floor to fix. Outside, Sarah's going to be pouring concrete. She's going to start work on her corrugated iron wall, so it's all go. At the front of the house, Melissa's putting her artistic flair to good use, and Simon's getting stuck into yet another door. You'll be adoring this, won't you? <laughs> <laughs> what are you Hello, day go girl. <laughs> <laughs> I asked for that, didn't I? What are you doing here? What? Um, rubbing myths into the into the shellac, and um, whilst the um, myths is before it evaporates, what you can do is just oh, see how it just like that. Just wipes the shellac. Off. Yeah. And also, if you don't get that shell off, it will just clog the sandpaper when you try and sand it back. So we try as hard as we can to to get all of that stuff off and then um, give them sand. And a good finish. Hmm. But there's, there's one finished over there. Well, it's come up lovely. Yeah. No, they do come up well. If you, if you dip them, they, they get bleached and the cowrie loses its sort of lovely orange glow. I'm going to leave you to it, you <laughs> cheeky monkey. <laughs> In the shower, the boys are fitting baby corrugated iron, making sure they use stainless steel screws. In the garden, Sarah's flexing her muscles, creating what looks like a homage to druids. This stone wall needs a good dollop of cement between each layer and some burly blokes to lend a hand. I didn't realise that we were going to have to pull up quite so much of the floor. Why is that? Well, it's just when we started, we realised that half of it had bore on it, so it's going to probably going to fall out on its own. Well, that's what I was going to ask, because I found this bit, and I thought, oh, hello. Yeah. Look at that. Yeah, that's the little puppies there, yeah. How do you know that, um, that they're gone, that they're not there? Well, they've, they've bored their way in one way, and obviously if you can see exit holes like that's come out the top, so they've gone their way in there, you can see on a different angle that they've exited, so oh. they probably aren't any more bore, there isn't any more bore in there. But then in that case... I've got kicked out not paying the rent. Why? 
<laughs> Why? How come there aren't any holes in that part of the wood? Because that will probably be hard not in timber, so it's probably too hard for the little blighters to even chew through. So, okay. yeah, they've only just chewed through the soft stuff. And I guess you, you wouldn't want to use this because once you start sanding it, it's just going to flake. Yeah, you'll end up like sawdust. Yeah. Too weak. Mm. What a pain. As I say, have you seen this? I'm not sure if they're house poles or totem poles. <laughs> That's what they used to do in the old days. They used to tosher, didn't they? Yeah. yeah. For the piles. Hard wood, yeah. It's even still got the bark on. Look at it. Yeah. <laughs> Gonna get down there and do a carving in it. Okay, so <laughs> no, how often do you get to sit in floors? Hey, like this, standing no. floors. Yeah. Thankfully, not very often. No. The borer hasn't surfaced um, through the top of the the plank, so the, the, it's actually been in very, very good condition. And because there's not much strength needed in the in the timber, because it's it's a, a veneer over the top of um, modern chipboard flooring. I mean, that, I, that, that's really not an issue. Right, well, Simon, I think we've heard enough of this. Bora is an issue if you want your floor to last. Best leave this with the professionals. Now, how are we doing with this? Because that... Oh, yeah, it's still quite wet, isn't it? It is, mm. yes. Because of the humidity, um, that's not drying. Because mm. it relies on the plaster absorbing the moisture. Mm. But if there's moisture in the air, then that moisture's going back on top of the clay, so it's, it's not, not going through. So you need it to be firmer than this before you can take it out? It and needs to support itself. Yeah. Yep. Yep. And what about the big one? Hopefully, because it's got more surface area for the air to get to. Mm. Um, so I'm hoping that one will dry. Mm. Yeah. Well, we'll come back later on then, shall yes. we? Yes. I can learn the next step. I want to poke it. <laughs> OK, what's crap the end of this? <laughs> Yeah, where you want to go with it? We're going inside. We're going inside, are we? Right. I'm not related to him. You're right, mate. You're welcome. <laughs> yep. Shut up from the cheap seats. Let's keep getting that remu ready. What are we doing taking it away from the skip? I'm not the skip's sure. Skip's over there. What, what are we doing with this? <laughs> Simon, we have permission to throw it away? You've got to match the old with the new, Darren. Yeah, we don't have to match the decrepit with the old. <laughs> we're going to use this. Yeah. All right. We'll make All right. it. Right, with Darren in control, it seems the perfect time to whip Simon off for a bit of a chat. Do you remember in England, they used to say on the radio, are you sitting comfortably? Uh, what show was that? Watch with Mother. <laughs> and listen with Mother. I don't remember that. Are you sitting comfortably? Um, I know uh, this seems a bit hard. <laughs> well, I'm going to begin anyway. <laughs> do you do nice things for each other? Try to. <laughs> you can find the time. <laughs> um, yeah, I always try and do something special for him, like... You know, if it's his birthday, I'll try and do something a little bit, you know, extra ordinary for him. Yeah, definitely. And Simon will do the same for me. He's, um, like he'll surprise me with a piece of what he calls junk, but he'll buy me a piece <laughs> of junk for my birthday. And like, like my last birthday, it was um, a doorknob and a set of fire um, prongs, you know. And, and to anyone else, I'd think, oh my God, what a present. But to me, it was like, oh, wow. <laughs> I think that's really thoughtful. Yeah, it's, she's hard to um, please for presents and, uh, you know, Christmas and um, birthday, but, you know, if you get something recycled with any corrugated or lattice or trellis work on it, then... Or that's a doorknob. A, a guaranteed winner. <laughs> Do you tell each other that you love each other? Well, I put it on the end of Simon's list of things to do. And in my sleep, I tell him. Um, with having two children, your life is so busy that you actually have to stop and think, oh, when was the last time I told Simon I loved him? You know, was it a week ago, a month ago? So, yeah, you know, you're thinking it, but I probably don't say it as often as I should. Mm. Do you want to give him a message now? Take this opportunity to make up for little <laughs> gaps lately? <laughs> Um, Simon, I really, really love you and I appreciate everything that you do. You're just wonderful. So what's going on in your, um, your head now? I don't know. What are you going to drag out of me? Well, I don't know. I mean, how, to, how is it nice to hear, you know, does it make you feel warm and fuzzy inside? It's like a, a um, <clears throat> a one-shot, um, look at your relationship and, um, you can see, um, you can see all the positive sides, and, you, and, it, and it does um, um, takes you a little bit by surprise about you know how good the relationship is, and it, and it sort of reinforces it. You know, seeing it in one hit like that. Mm. Mm. 
Did you feel happy? Yeah. Yep. Good. All right, then you're released from your <laughs> misery. I think he's more moved than he's letting on, though. This is going to be the top of my concrete plinth. I've made a boxing, and underneath it, I've lined the bottom with corrugated iron. So, filled it with concrete, put my reinforcing rod in. Three of them across here should be enough. So, I'm waiting for the boys to mix me up another load of concrete. And then, tomorrow when it's set, we're going to tip it out, and the corrugated iron imprint will be on the top of the plinth. Right, with the garden on track, time to whisk Melissa away. Here we are, then. No. <laughs> You're sitting comfortably? Yes. Good. How would you describe her personality? To give you some idea what she'd be like, if we moved into a, uh, into a home and there was some wallpaper she, she didn't like, she would just go in and rip one sheet of it off. Therefore, that room would have to be done. He's told me that story a few times over the last few days. <laughs> well, you see, if it's broken, you've got to fix it. <laughs> now, that's very cunning. <laughs> Do you tell each other nice things and that you love each other? Um, she tells me she loves me more than I tell her. And she quite often reminds me and says, you haven't told me I, um, you love me for a long time. And, or she'll go, <coughs> aren't, aren't you forgetting something? And so, yeah, I, I, I'm a bit slack there. Well, you can take this opportunity right now, if you like. <laughs> <laughs> Melissa, I love you. Are you proud of her? Yeah, oh, absolutely. Um, and um, that, was, that was certainly summed up in, in um, the, the two wonderful children that I now have, and, um, and also um, the fact that, yes, she is such a, a wonderful mother. Think you're lucky? Yeah, very lucky. <laughs> very <close>. <laughs> <laughs> How are you feeling inside after hearing all that? Um, yeah, pretty privileged mm, to have such a wonderful guy. And we're privileged to be here, Melissa. Now, back in the master bedroom, Darren's rehanging the sash windows, a task long overdue. And in the bathroom, the tongue and groove is slowly going up. But we're a little short of helpers. They might take a bit of convincing. Hey, you guys were in a bit of a fix, eh? We, uh, we've got heaps of remu to put up. Yeah, I know, mate, I know. And uh, we're just wondering, like, if you can come over and give us a bit of a move on. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't think they're interested. No. They don't give a ball. <laughs> Come on, no, back to right. work. Just, you know, in your own time, you want to wander over and give us a hand, be all good. Well, it's the end of a very hot day, too, here in the Tasman district, and lucky old Sarah is packing up. But poor wee Darren is stuck inside with those scotias and skirtings and architraves that have all got to go up so that we can get cracking with the painting tomorrow. I'm not going to worry, though. Darren assures me everything is all right. So, I'll see you tomorrow. Day three has dawned here at Melissa and Simon's place in Mahana, and thankfully it's a wee bit cooler than it was yesterday afternoon. Hope it stays that way because inside a huge push today, the guys stayed late last night, got most of the trim up, but there's a lot more to do before they can get a really clear run at the painting. Pressure's on in the bathroom. The paint's got to be on and dry by five o'clock because that's when the floor sander arrives, and of course then it'll be a case of everybody out. So a lot for them to do. In the garden, it's becoming a bit of a gallery, a garden gallery so today it's sort of shop fitting day we're gonna get really creative I'm looking forward to that I think I'll get stuck in and help I found a whole pile of old newspapers around the back of the house in the shed now it seems a shame to waste these so what I'm doing is I'm going to use them in the garden sprinkling a layer of fertilizer down first then taking a decent thickness of newspaper spreading that all over the garden I'm going to soak it with the hose and then we're going to spread bark over it now the newspaper is perfect for two reasons firstly it stops any weeds coming through also Melissa's got some bulbs in the garden that she doesn't quite know where they are the bulbs will penetrate through the newspaper so these will still come up next spring and also worms love it when it mulches down. It's perfect feed for them and encourages worms in your garden.
Well, it seems Melissa's hoarding of newspapers has found a use after all. Out the back, Darren is going slightly mad, trying to restore yet another of Simon's Rimu doors, while inside, a band of painters is getting stuck into transforming the newly jibbed walls. And Sarah's conned one of the boys to help attach the frames to our outdoor gallery. Now, I have been given the unruly task of having to reuse these doors inside. Now, personally, I really think they'd probably be best situated in that big orange thing over there. But I have to do something with them. It still work, but Simon and Melissa Adam about reusing the recycled timber, recycled doors, the remu, and it's just making my job a bit harder. So here's some things you can do or I have to do to make sure them fit in the hole inside. Now, make sure that the, uh, the insert panels line up because the doors are longer and shorter than each other. It doesn't matter if the lengths don't. So I'm going to take an average size, allowing for carpet inside, getting a nice straight edge because I'm squaring it as well, using the square and the level, making sure the doors are squared together, then I can make sure the lines are going to be straight. So in the, in the inside, there's not going to be gaps, they're not going to be out of kilter. So once you make those line up, cutting them to size, making sure you scribe down the edge. And I've also planed down the centre line as well to make sure the doors are going to join together. So they're not cupped or bowed. So when they're up, that gap's all good. <sighs> Could be here all morning, a lot of work involved, but we've got to do it. Enough complaining, Darren. After the long wait in the garage, these doors certainly deserve a home. Wow, looks like Simon's called in every local with a motorbike. Now, we're not the painters, are we? <laughs> nope, these burly men are members of Simon's Motorcycle Club. I do hope they're here to help. It's a good turnout. Oh, well, I mean, we knew you were going to be here somewhere. You're not answering your phone either. No, well, the electrician's cut that off and he hasn't put it back on yet. So. OK. I'm not supposed to look over there, so I've got my hat sort of tilted to one oh, side. Okay. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not allowed to see the garden. Mm. Oh, well, look, you know, in good hands here. I think we'll just have to leave you, and we're going to ride off and enjoy our day. <laughs> and, I'm enjoying uh, you. You want to come? <laughs> not a chance, Simon. You've still got a long day ahead of you if you're ever going to make amends with your long-suffering wife, especially in the bathroom where Melissa gave birth to Oscar alone one cold winter's night, giving Simon a bit of a shock. I walked past the bathroom window and I heard this this cry and I thought, who the heck is visiting with the, with children, at, you know, during our day that we're going to have children? <laughs> and I felt Oscar's head, he was there. So I suddenly realised that, hey, this baby's going to be born. I had to get my act together. I had to hold myself to breathe and another contraction and his shoulders must have turned. Another contraction and he was he was born. He was out. So it was very, very fast. I think I ran round in circles. I, I wasn't prepared for the baby having arrived. I, I mean, if she was going into labour, I think I I could have handled that and I would have known what to get, but I just didn't know what to get and what to do. <laughs> and he just turned into a headless chock. He was just running round. What do I do? What do I do? And of course I was quite calm by the stage and so he got me onto the sofa and um, yeah we said oh what is it once he was all wrapped up and we didn't know and both looked and yeah, he was a boy talk about home birth they breed him tough in the South Island outside Sarah and I are busy on another project we're recycling Simon's corrugated iron into a metal work of art it looks a lot better than covering up the holes in the living room and because they've moved around I can just Adjust them when it's up. Right, can you do that and the drill, and I'll go around the back and hold this piece of wood. Yep, around the back. Okay, ready? <laughs> oh, cool! It looks really good. Well, the garden gallery seems on track, but inside is a different story. The trouble with restoring a villa with original trimmings is detail, detail, detail. Still, nothing less will do for our king and queen of hoarding. <sighs> You're good coming in here to help. Well, you know, they always call me when the pressure's on, don't they? Oh, well, I'm glad. You obviously finished in the garden. Mm. For today. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm not giving too much away. Mm. <clears throat> but have you done much polyurethane in this? Oh, heaps in my time. So you know all about it then? Well, I do, actually. You know about the steel wool? Uh, mm. in between coats? Mm, yes, in between the first and second coat, because the first coat brings out the wood grain, raises it ever so slightly, and you can either use steel wool or a really, really fine sandpaper. Okay, and it's important not to have too much on your brush. Mm -hmm. You want it nice and thin and mm -hmm. nice and even, otherwise you end up with drip marks. Mm -hmm. And a well-ventilated room. Yeah, it stinks in here. Yeah. It's horrible. <laughs> I'm getting a headache already. I'm almost thinking I've been in here long enough already. Yeah. yeah. Mm, just finish so, this bit off and yeah. then out for some fresh air. Mm. 
Well, day three. Time for a quick pause and reflection. <laughs> then you'll be happy, no doubt. Mm. Well, let's just say that I've been inside for the afternoon helping with the painting. Mm -hmm. And we'll leave it at that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you must be wondering why Ooh. she's been inside painting. Mm -hmm. And I've been outside all by myself. Yeah, I saw you around there on your own. It's mm -hmm. like... Anyone else left you? <laughs> has it got to that? Yeah, it has. Yeah, I've been the only one out. Notice how she's been doing the weeding and creeping closer and closer and closer, <laughs> trying to just edge her little uh, way true, in there. True. Little peeking eyes. I saw her before, too. Actually. Now, you two, you've had help from everyone, Bar Melissa, so how are you going inside? Oh, well, Simon will probably be able to tell you about the painting, but um, I'm just trying to do the little bits, put the door catches on and finish door stops and little things like that. Yeah, but how are we going with that painting, Simon? It's going on well. Finish is really good. You've had lots of help. Yeah, it's been a bit crowded at times with carpenters dropping bits in the paint and stuff like that, but, uh, yeah. Oh. yeah. But, um, I mean, you two can rest easy in your beds tonight. But you two, I'm sorry, you have to sup up and get back inside. Hey. Want to finish off? You know what? I think we'll be all right for here, here for a bit, don't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. We'll be here all night otherwise. That's right, yeah, they will. Mm -hmm. I say cheers to tomorrow. <laughs> cheers. 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 <laughs> it's going to be a long night, boys. Right, so, the day of reckoning. Yes. Mm -hmm. Are you set for this? I am indeed. Are you excited, I Melissa? Am, yes. Mm. There's lots happening inside. There's even a couple of little surprises for you. Ooh. Ooh. What are they then? Oh, that Bruce the Joiner come up with a few little treasures. Oh. Yes, so oh, wow. that'll be quite cool. You'll really like it. It's just the sort of thing you like. So, now you need to update me because there's still a lot to do inside, Simon, isn't there? There is, but I can't get anything done at the moment because there's tradesmen everywhere just yeah. finishing off and so we've, we were trying to varnish and been thrown out of one room and then thrown out of another and then thrown out of the bathroom, so just can't get any painting done at the moment. More staining we've still got to do. The carpet's going down and painting needs doing... <laughs> You want to get it done in four days, it all yeah. sort of happens at once, yeah. and then suddenly it all comes together on day four. <laughs> yeah. Like magic. All the little fairies. <laughs> what about in the garden? What else to do? Just got a um, couple of sculptures to put around, mm. and then we're done. And we're sunbathing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that's pretty to be much it. it. Mm. Yes, but you haven't seen them. You don't know. No, you don't know what we've been up to. That's no. right. It's going mm. to be such a creative masterpiece. That Good. Well, we have got to go, whatever happens by the end of today, because we're off on another mission back up to the North Island. Well, I could keep you here for at least another four days. <laughs> Sweetie, I think you could probably keep us here for about another four <laughs> months, quite frankly. <laughs> but we've only got one day left to turn around this botched-up villa, so we've called on the experts to lend a hand with the deck roof, Simon's historic bathroom fittings, and yet more stripping of doors. Time to see what Bruce, our talented joiner, is whipping up for Melissa. You're back for another day. Yes, back again. You're a glutton for punishment, Bruce. <laughs> yes. What are you up to this morning? Um, today we're building a bed as a surprise for Melissa. Just a little project. Just, just a little one, yep. So where'd you find these? These are actually recycled. These were the old veranda posts. From here? The 80-year-old veranda posts, yes. Remu? Yes, they are. Of course, are. Yep. they would be, yep. wouldn't they? Beautiful heart, Remu. Wow, and you've yep. turned them beautifully, tidied them all up. Yes, you wouldn't believe it, could you? No. And um, I know that uh, Simon told me that these have been made for some time waiting to be used. Yes. So it'll be good to see them in the bedroom. Yeah, I'm sure Melissa will be pleased to see them. Very yeah, good. Nice. How long does it take you to do that? Oh, a few hours. Yeah, a yeah, couple of hours. Yep, all in a day's work, though. Oh, yeah. you're so <laughs> modest. What about these little gizmos here? What's this? These little guys are um, door stops. You put a screw down through the centre here and screw them into the into the um, skirting boards. Yep. The screw goes down mm. through the centre and then the button goes on the pushes top. Pushes over the top. Yes, it's just for more old fashioned sort of houses. Yeah, more colonial style with all Remy floors. And so have you made some of these for Melissa? Yes, that's another little surprise as well. So it'll be quite nice. Oh, very good. I yes. like those. They're, they're very handy. Yes. Good attention to detail. It counts for a lot at this house. You'll be her favourite. Oh, yeah. Well, second to I'm Simon. Sure. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and me. Yeah. You know, we've been blown away by this kind of South Island generosity. I wonder how Simon's feeling about it all. I've been um, really caught between feeling eternally grateful for someone coming in and doing all this work and the man hours that have gone in um, over such a short space of time and, and the way the house has just moved forward has just been amazing. Um, on the other hand, it's been quite hard for me to 
see people do things quite quickly and not always with the materials that I would use. And I guess there's the, there's the feeling that, um, you know, there's a, a slight loss of pride that um, I've um, had to ask, or, or you know, I've, I've come to ask for some help and, um, and, and get the job finished. Well, Simon, there's nothing wrong with asking for help. It might not be quite how you would do it, but at least we're getting it finished, and in just four days. Now, this is a very special man. This is our roofer, Dave. Just before we got here, the roofer that we were gonna use, it all fell through, and we were stuck, and I went on the radio to say, help! And within three minutes, you responded. It wasn't that quick, was it? It was that quick. It's pretty good for early in the morning, isn't it? It is, it was <laughs> early in the morning. It was about 10 to seven. Yeah. <laughs> and you got this up pretty quick. Yeah, oh, it's not much in it, actually, Lisa. It's, um, yeah. It looks good, though, doesn't it? Adds, it? adds character to the front of the house. It does. How do you bend it? Oh, they do that in the factory, actually, where they roll the metal, put it through rollers. Right. They come out and get the radius of the curve that they need. And they do that. Yeah. And then you just fit it. Now, how long does Melissa have to wait until she can paint it? Well, she doesn't really have to wait very long at all. You could do it straight away? Yeah, with the new paints I've got out now, you can do it pretty much straight away. Right, but you wouldn't want to do it if there was a risk of rain, which, believe it or not, there is today. Yeah, it's meant to turn nasty later on today. Yeah, yeah no, you wouldn't. Because it would run off. But personally, I wouldn't paint it anyway. It looks good, doesn't it? Mm. Looks yes, it does. damn good. Thank you very much for helping us out. I'm very You're grateful. Welcome, Lisa. You're welcome. I think we're very lucky to have had you. <laughs> I'll give you my card. <laughs> <laughs> In the garden, Sarah's asked Darren for a hand with her plinth bases. To make these rustic supports, simply rivet together corrugated iron into a pillar shape and pour quick-setting concrete into the middle. Lastly, chisel off the bubbles on the top. Hey presto, a perfect platform to display garden art. And from the once dark depths of Simon's garage comes a now fully restored claw bath. Get a move on, boys. Also hiding in the scary garage is Melissa's sculpture collection, now finally destined for a dust-off and a prime position in our outdoor gallery. Well, I do hope that Simon and Darren have done a good job in anticipating what Melissa likes and that she's really going to enjoy those three new rooms. We've got a few bits and pieces still to go in place, but we are getting there. I think Simon is just going to love the garden gallery, but we'll find out after the break. It's the final day of Simon and Melissa's villa makeover, and it's been a mammoth effort from half the locals of Nelson. Even the bed has been handcrafted for Melissa, as we place the finishing touches to three stunning new rooms. Outside, our garden gallery blends the old with the new, and Melissa finally has a place to display her sculptures. I do hope Simon approves. It's hard to believe that just four days ago, this garden housed only weeds and piles of junk. As for the wonky deck with missing timber and roof, well, it was just plain scary. Time to show Simon just how hard the girls have worked to turn it around. Come on then, take that blindfold off. Oh, I can take it off myself, can I? Oh, <laughs> Simon. <laughs> well. Quite a gallery, isn't it? It certainly is. Yeah. Well, well done. Do you like it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, very different. But very artistic. Yeah, it's great. And the brick wall? It's all glued together, is it? Yes, concreted. Concreted. That was backbreaking work, that, oh, on that yeah. really hot day. Yeah. All your bark that you've oh, had. Yeah, that looks excellent. Who did the, um, the thing attached to the... Sarah did that. OK, mm. cool. And, of course, listen. Rain, yes. On your roof. Yes, on the roof. Yep. Oh, wow. Oh, look at those, uh, that fretwork. Did you just notice that? Oh, I was looking at here. <laughs> I haven't looked up yet. Wow. That's just awesome. So, cool. happy? Yeah, very. very. Right. It's just, um, it's just mm. exactly what we want. Yeah. Good. Inside, the transformation has been little short of a miracle. A few days ago, this master bedroom was a botched up, drafty mess. But just look at it now. Can you remember what this bedroom looked like? Yes, I can remember what it looked like. Oh, you could have a look now. Oh, wow. It's not the same bedroom. <laughs> wow. There's been a huge amount of work in here. Oh, wow, look at the windows. Oh, they've been all cleaned oh, up. Oh, wow, look at this. <laughs> and how long have we been carrying that around? Three years. Yeah, three years since we've had it made up. Wow. Oh, it feels so different. Oh, wow, look at the carpet. Skirting. Oh, wow, there's even a doorknob. More of Bruce's handiwork. Wow. It's just been amazing. <laughs> mm. 
Next door, this family room was one of our biggest challenges to date, complete with a water cylinder and a great big gaping hole with missing French doors. Will Melissa believe she's in the right house? Well, Melissa, you won't remember this room, because there wasn't a room. <laughs> <laughs> so you better open your eyes. Oh, wow. Gosh, <laughs> we're in the same house. <laughs> I don't believe it. <laughs> it's another room. So what do you think about all your skirtings all in place and your doors? <laughs> I just can't believe it's the, uh, even a part of this house. It's just <laughs> a lot different to how I would imagine that. Really? Yeah. Oh, that's good. Yeah, you pleased? A lot different. Yeah, it's awesome. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Four days ago, this bathroom was a complete botch up. No walls, exposed wiring, no shower, and a bath ready to fall through the floor. Open your eyes, Melissa. Oh, wow. <laughs> I'm speechless. It's a lot to take in, isn't it? Yeah. Shower and bath on the taps. What must be behind here? The toilet. Oh, wow, look at that. <laughs> I think I might have another baby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a bit nicer, isn't it? Oh, dear, dear. I really like this room. It's another one where it seems a lot bigger now. Mm, yeah, it does. Yeah, he has worked incredibly hard. Oh. I've with about 18 <laughs> Yes, I think you've seen enough room at Remu to last your life, haven't you, Darren? Right. A little matter of the list, Simon. Oh, I knew that would be coming. <laughs> it's not a big list. Because oh, okay. I actually think that you've worked really hard. So, as you'll find out, Simon's to-do list consists of repair the rest of the deck, Yep. Finish the kitchen, because you need to cook. Mm. You need to get comfortable. Sounds good. I'm pleased to see that. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's going to help you out, isn't it? <laughs> Fill the holes in all the doors. <laughs> finish all the windows. Have a month off renovating. Uh, yeah, that sounds think? good. Yeah. And go windsurfing. Oh, cool. Oh, Definitely. Because right. we have worked very hard. Oh, yeah, and I found <laughs> one last piece of roomy that we didn't use on the house. So <laughs> <laughs> we'll have it back. <laughs> cool. No, I, yeah, I needed that bit. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. I'm going to give it back to you to take to walk on. Oh, yeah, as a memento. Oh, yeah. What a nice memento. <laughs> well, that's it from my pretend DIY rescue here in the Tasman district. We'll see you next week. Bye. Well, after four days, I've got no weeds in my garden, and look at this beautiful space that I've got. I've got space for my sculptures, and yeah, I've got new sculptures, and it's just awesome. And I've got beautiful fretwork on my house, and yeah, what more can I say than that's just that's just awesome. Okay, well, this room, well, I was just totally blown away with this room. It's just yeah, I just thought I was honestly in another house. It's, I've been in lots of villas, and it was the feel that I wanted, and. Yeah, it's just awesome. And this room has just blown me away as well. It's a million times better than I imagined it to be. And it's just got so many things that I've had in boxes and it's just wonderful to see them actually now being in place. And yeah, yeah it's just, there's so much to look at and so much to take in and it's, I'm just gonna love this room. Well, I don't know where to start to thank you people. DIY Rescue, all the people that came at short notice, all the people who have just popped by and helped. It has just been so incredible. And it's now gonna be like a family home. We've, made, we've put the foundations down and I've now got time to enjoy it as a family. If I count all the tradesmen and people that have been here to help and times that by however many weekends, Simon would have had to have stayed here and done it, man, he would have been here for a long, long time. So yeah, thank you. DIY Rescue has been brought to you by Mitre 10 with the assistance of Dulux, Polly and DeWalt. For more do-it-yourself tips from the renovations featured in tonight's show plus budget renovation advice, see this week's issue of New Idea on sale now. And we're pleased to report Melissa and Simon are enjoying a month off renovating but can't wait to get back to scouring the demolition yards. Keep it up, squirrels.